Okay, here we are at uh, Queenstown uh, once again, uh, one of my favorite uh, airports in uh, X Plane 11. Uh, this is my first flight in uh, X Plane 11.10. Uh, I think it's Beta uh, 2. And uh, I'll uh, yeah, we'll do just short flights to see if everything works. Uh, I see that I already have a problem with my trim wheel, which is not aligned, so uh, I hope uh, everything goes well. Uh, let's see if we can start her up okay that's working that's working a uh, quarter of an inch throttle fuel pump on primary engine fuel pump off start the engine okay that's okay avionics on Let's see. That's working fine. Let's see if the trim wheel is responding now. Uh, no, the flaps are responding. I don't know if the trim wheel is working. So we'll find out when we take off, after takeoff. It's not an ideal situation, but uh, we'll s see if it works. Looks nice uh, so far. Explain 11.10. Uh, uh, I see this uh, display isn't working, so I'll reset it. Uh, there's an iPad, so I have to reset Air Manager. Let's see if it is working now. Same as for this. Yeah, it's working. Let's see if I can get this display to work. Okay. Parking brake off. Taxi to the run end of the runway. As I said, I will do a just a short flight, just to uh, check out if everything is working fine. Uh, it feels okay. It feels smooth. Uh, as you can see, I uh, am working on the GPS, the Garmin 530, and I noticed that there is a new. Uh, version of the Cessna 172 which includes the G1000 uh, display so perhaps I'll have to rebuild the cockpit with two big screens although I uh, prefer the old version we'll see uh, it looks like everything is turning a little bit smoother uh, when I use my uh, rudder pedals it feels good so far Only problem I've seen so far is the trim wheel which isn't working. But uh, we'll fix that. I got a lot of uh, response on my video of the, the outside of the sim. Uh, most people liked it, uh, they want to see more details, so I'll shoot an, another video uh, in a couple of days showing also the outside of this, this sim. Uh, uh, the most people are interested in the, the back side of the displays, uh, the instruments, how I uh, install them. And that was something I didn't show in the last uh, video, so I'll do that. Uh, I'm also uh, working on an uh, GPS add-on, I have uh, already the, the path I need, so uh, I hope we'll soon see a uh, fully working uh, GPS in the sim pit. And, and, uh, and then I'm thinking about uh, rebuilding uh, the lower panel, because uh, it's a I don't like how it looks now. I can make it more realistic, I think. Now, 
Queenstown looks great as usual I think we'll have to wait for the engine temperature the oil pressure to rise let's add some throttle Reset green. Only problem I have is the oil the temperature. It's in the green. Oil pressure is uh, in the green. Uh, but I don't think the engine is uh, at the right temperature because the meter says it's about uh, 260 degrees, and that's not. Uh, not uh, realistic, so uh, perhaps I should uh, fix it in Air Manager. Well, let's find out if we can uh, take off without a uh, trim wheel. So far everything seems to be working. We'll do a short flight as I said. Reduce the throttle a little bit. Let's see if the trim wheel does something. I'll have to fix that. We'll turn uh, to the uh, east, the left. And in front of us uh, are the Remarkables, uh, famous uh, mountains in New Zealand. Queenstown and I'll uh, start fixing the uh, trim wheel and the uh, temperature meters. I think that I found out uh, no the issue is. I think Air Manager has uh, default settings in uh, degrees Celsius and uh, Display is uh, Fahrenheit, so uh, that's why we don't see the right scale. Markables in front of us. Fly to the east, to the right, I must say. We'll be heading in the direction of Melford Sound, a uh, place we have uh, been in this uh, same pit uh, a few times. I'm also experimenting with the camera position. And the cameras, I have uh, two uh, cameras, they're not GoPros, but uh, clones, and uh, they uh, are both uh, 180p, so uh, HD resolution, but uh, the image is not the same, 
the, the uh, field of view is different. This one has a more narrow field of view. Uh, so if you uh, prefer one or another, uh, please let me know in the comments or uh, send me an email and uh, then I know what people uh, like the most. Uh, I prefer the other cam because it's a bit uh, wider I think the angle but uh, this one uh, uh, gives more detailed uh, information on the displays and the yokes the coaches so uh, it's up to you Airport in front of us. As you can see, it is an auto Fox P image. It's not aligned. Uh, quite good in the overlays. So you actually see two runways. Where in fact, there's only one runway, uh, obviously, in real life. It's just a test flight. So here you can see what I mean when I said the two runways not aligned. Uh, the auto 4 XP and the overlay runway are not aligned. I'm uh, too high as you can see. It's because of the trees. I don't think they should be here because if you follow the glide scope, you uh, hit the trees. So I'll go down. A little bit of flare. Too much speed. So that was my first flight in uh, X-Plane 11 version 11.10 uh, It feels smooth, feels good, trim wheel is not responding Everything else is working as it's supposed to be Really responsive. So 
So, if Johnny's off, and let's switch the engine off. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.